I was honestly like this review is is late because I was just having so much fun listening through all of the budget headphones that I have on the Fosse K5. <laughs> So this little unit is the Fosse Audio K5 Pro Gaming DAC Headphone Amp. This is a really designed as a gaming amp DAC, but it's kind of just great as an amp DAC for, for anything. It doesn't have to be gaming, but it does have a mic input, which makes it, you know, you're going to elevate your gaming with this. So let me tell you a little bit about it, and then I'll tell you a little bit about why I've been enjoying it so much. Now, first out of the box, you get, surprisingly, an optical cable. So this has an optical cable in, so you can run audio into it via optical. It has a USB-C cable as well, and that has a USB to USB-C. So you've got the old uh, adapter there, which allows you to do USB to USB-C or USB C to USB-A. And I love more and more companies are coming out uh, with these cables, which I really like because I have an old MacBook Pro and I have a new MacBook Pro and I have a uh, MacBook Air and, and then I have a USB dongle for my MacBook Pro with a USB-A. So with these cables, I know that I've always got what I need when I'm on the road. And then it also comes with a splitter cable. So you'd plug your gaming headset into here with the 3.5 mil uh, plug on it. And then that will separate it out uh, and make it nice and easy for you. If you can see that, there's just a little headphone and a little uh, microphone symbol on those. And that then goes into the front of the K5 into these two here, one for headphone and one for mic. Now, if you don't have a mic and you just listen to headphones, you just go into the headphone socket there. So the unit is uh, just a good solid kind of steel build, a uh, couple of Allen key bolts down the end there that kind of screw it in and hold it together. And it's the kind of thing that I think you could just throw in your bag really easily and not really worry about it being too, you know, knocked around a little bit. It's got nice rubber feet for isolation uh, and they're quite deep. So it sits just really nicely uh, on the table and you're probably gonna, you know, not to have too much resonance going into, into that. Let's talk about inputs now that we've talked about build quality, and then I'll talk about sound quality. So in the back here, we've got the USB-C um, port, uh, which also powers the unit. Next to that, we've got the uh, optical in, and then we've got the coaxial, and then we've got an RCA outline. So, you know, I, I'm thinking of running my M audios off this and seeing how they sound. That means that you can feed in lots of stuff. Now this is compatible with Nintendo Switch, with any USB-C phone. Uh, it's compatible with uh, PC, with Mac, with PlayStation 4, 5, power, treble, and bass. So really basic EQ. Uh, nice pots have a nice click in the middle when you're uh, when you're flat. So that if you're looking for that flat spot, you don't have to look for the for the um, nug that's been you know. <laughs> carved out of there and then the volume button performs a few different functions if I hold it up and I press and hold the volume the unit comes to life that's the blue light there and that blue light underneath it there's a little label that says USB-C so that tells me that we are using USB-C mode now this also powers it obviously if we press that one more time you'll see that it moves over and that little click moves it into optical mode. You click it one more time, it'll go to coaxial input, and then you click it again, it'll go back to USB mode. So that lets you uh, switch between all of the different inputs. Now, the positive thing with that is that you could actually have this connected to a couple of different things, and then just using the volume input selector, you can switch between devices, which is probably quite handy. So with the gaming mics, say, such as the Turtle Peach Recon with the uh, the built-in mic, which you've probably got as well, you'll just plug that into this adapter. And then this adapter will go into the headphone and mic. And that's it, that's all you need to do. You're good to go, plug and play, easy peasy. And then that'll separate the uh, the mic and the headphone audio. I've done a, an audio test with it, uh, which I'll put on the full review on, on the site, along with some you know HD photos, so that you can see it up close. Uh, as well as hear that audio and how it sounds. I did two audio tests actually. I put in a gunshot mic straight into it to see what that would sound like, and then I also did the Turtle Beach. The output on the Turtle Beach was a little bit quiet, but I think that's more about the headset. And that was good. You know, that, I mean, even those sounded so much better uh, with 
with this. I mean, the really kind of the whole energy level came up in the headphones. But where I really felt like these things started to shine was not only in some of these kind of cheaper units like the One Audio Monitor 6 to Studio headphones, which are open back, but also, you know, I tried them on the Fine Fine H8, which are also a, a budget uh, headset, which sounded um, so much better because, you know, they're, they're not the, the strongest headphones uh, on the list. But where they really kind of started to work hard was on these. Now these are the One Audio Monitor 80 Studio headphones. These are a 250 ohm headphone. They have a quarter inch or a 3.5 mil input and they do take some driving. So at, at uh, 300 ohms, 80 milliwatts, 250 ohms for this meant that I did have to drive the volume a little bit higher. So I probably got to about one or two o'clock where I found the sweet spot. But wowza wowza, like really, really nice you know i just kept scrolling through those tunes um you know i had a spotify list going and i'll read off like some of the tracks that i was listening to which just came out in, in, out of nowhere for me but animals by architects that's just a big slamming really quite heavy song that was quite musical all of a sudden or more musical than i'm used to now at work i have the dt uh, 1990 pro set up with the um, fio ka1 amp deck which is wonderful on my uh, macbook uh, air there those are very expensive headphones in comparison to the monitor 80 but these came you know they didn't reach that same level but these came so far up that I just I was really enjoying what I was listening to so there was that I chucked in move a mountain the stripped version by Dan Lancaster so musical lots of I mean that's just a great song anyway it's been one of the one of the more popular songs of 2022 and that just sounded really nice the acoustic the separation the soundstage lovely let you down by NF uh, mansion by NF and, and Fleury which has a lot of like reverb and a lot of like spacious sounds to it it's not the best mixed a mastered track there's some nice ambient kind of sounds through that as you go he gets a little bit aggressive at the end there fantastic tune insubordinate by alt another banger that just comes in and, and just smacks down hard so for some of you i just wanted to show you if you're using a mac where in the mac you go once you plug in the fossey audio k5 pro so what you do is you just come up to your Apple icon, click on system settings, and that is gonna open up your system settings, uh, system preferences pane, come into the sound area, which is here. And then in your output and input within sound, you should be able to see the Fosse Audio K5 Pro. So you would just select that so that that is where audio will be output to. And in terms of input, then you would also change that to the Fosse Audio K5 Pro. I love this unit. I mean, it's like a four and a half out of five, only because it's awesome, but nothing's perfect. At this price, that's really harsh to even drop a half star because of the kind of slightly cold elevation in the sound signature overall. But I would, uh, you know, this is this will be a permanent spot on my desk, definitely, for testing um, different headphones at different times. Loved it. If you've got any questions, fire them away in the comments below, and I look forward to answering any of those. Price points just right. Fossey Audio K5 Gaming Amp DAC. If it's been helpful, click a button around here somewhere, and I'll see you real soon. Take care, and I hope the weather's nice where you are. Bye for now.